Hello. Storm Dennis has been bringing very strong winds, heavy rainfall and quite widespread flooding across parts of the UK. That storm system is going to be tracking its way gradually further east, heading across Scandinavia. So some particularly unsettled windy weather on the cards across much of northern Europe over the next couple of days. This is how Monday morning is shaping up. Still windy for the UK, parts of northern France up towards Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden too. We've got a trailing weather front bringing some rain and some mountain snow across the Alps. Meanwhile, towards the southeast, it's dry and settled for much of Turkey, Greece into Italy as well. Temperatures in Rome about 16 degrees, not as warm as it has been over recent days across Spain, Portugal and southern France. So we've got this weather front bringing some cooler air, blustery conditions with some showery rain too. So it's cool, it is windy with her further heavy showers across the UK into Norway and Sweden as well. Heading on into Tuesday, still quite blustery for northern areas, but looking largely dry and settled further south across Europe. And we've got one or two showers moving into Eastern Europe, so the odd snow flurry perhaps for Moscow. Now, if we look further ahead then over the next week or so, in London, still some showers, but it will turn milder towards the end of the week. And things are also going to be turning a bit warmer in Paris, where it should stay mostly dry. Similar picture for Madrid and Rome, dry with some sunshine. Showers at times in Berlin, it's fairly mild, but some snow flurries in Moscow towards the end of the week. Bye bye. Hello there. We've had some fairly cold weather through the weekend across the northeastern states and eastern Canada as well, but things are going to be turning milder as we look towards the new working week. Here's the satellite image. It shows this cloud area here streaming off towards the Pacific Northwest. We've already had quite a bit of rain and mountain snow with this area of low pressure. That's making its way across the northern and central Rockies on Sunday, and it'll be clearing into the central plains as we head on into Monday. An area of low pressure also bringing some fairly heavy spells of rain towards parts of Louisiana into northern Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas. So some gusty winds and some thunderstorms possible with that area of rain towards the southeast. Meanwhile, across Alaska and British Columbia, fairly cold conditions with windy weather around the coast, further snow flurries here too. We've got that area of heavy snow across the central and northern Rockies, further south, much of California looking dry and settled. For many of these cities in the west then, over the next couple of days, the weather is remaining fairly dry, quiet and reasonably mild as well. Meanwhile, it's not as cold as it has been for the likes of New York and Montreal as well, so a milder day to come on Sunday with some sunshine. Further south though, we've got this area of heavy rain, so that'll affect the likes of Tallahassee up towards Myrtle Beach as well. To the south of that, a drier picture for central and southern parts of Florida. But after a mild day to come on Monday, we'll see rain and some snow on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Hello there. We had some heavy rain and thunderstorms on Saturday across some central and northern parts of Argentina. In fact, if we take a look at these satellite images, you can see the areas of cloud that developed across Argentina that produced outbreaks of heavy rain. Now, as we head through the next 24 hours or so, we've still got some heavy showers to come, some thunderstorms, and there could be some localised flooding across some central parts of Argentina. Further north across the continent of South America, plenty of heavy showers through central and southern parts of Brazil, towards Bolivia, and also for Colombia. Too. A little bit drier for Venezuela, but heavy downpours across parts of Suriname, Guyana and into the north of Brazil too. Heading our way further south, some heavy showers for Rio de Janeiro. A warm day in Buenos Aires, 32 degrees here on Sunday. Further south, some scattered showers and blustery conditions down towards Patagonia. But for Rio de Janeiro, we lose the heavy showers, so it's looking drier through much of the coming week. For Buenos Aires, some heavy showers and thunderstorms on Monday and then things turn cooler than they have been. Now, looking across Mexico, quite a lot of dry, settled weather here. Pretty warm in Mexico City, 29 Celsius. One or two showers through parts of Central America, including Costa Rica and Panama too. And across the Caribbean, we've got the odd shower affecting parts of Jamaica and also for Hispaniola as well. But Cuba looking mostly dry and settled and plenty of sunny, dry weather in Havana, Kingston, San Salvador and San Jose. Bye for now. Hello there. The remnants of ex-tropical cyclone Francisco continue to bring heavy rain across Madagascar. There could be some further flooding problems here. You can see that storm system here on the satellite image. It is no longer a tropical cyclone and it should be easing over the next few days. Some heavy showers though across parts of Namibia and Angola as well through the day on Monday. Further east though, still some showers but not quite as heavy as they have been 
One or two outbreaks of heavy rain also affecting Namibia and also Malawi through the day on Monday. Further north across Africa, a lot of dry weather, rather cool northerly breeze affecting Libya and Egypt, but warmer further west towards Morocco. In Cape Town, a bit of rain around on Monday, but things turn warmer and drier from midweek onwards. Plenty of sunshine in Dakar, but some showers at times for Johannesburg. Khartoum looking sunny and dry. There will be one or two heavy showers and thunderstorms at times for Kinshasa, particularly on Monday. Now onto the Middle East, and we've got low pressure moving off the Levant towards northern parts of Iraq and Iran. So some fairly heavy mountain snow and blustery winds across parts of Iran. Moving our way further south, some of those showers getting down across the Gulf, but most places looking dry and settled down across Oman, Yemen and into Saudi Arabia too. Some breezy conditions developing across central Saudi Arabia towards Kuwait, for instance, as well. Muscat, Dubai and Riyadh all looking dry, but showers set to continue in Kuwait. Bye-bye. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather forecast across South Asia and Central Asia now. And we'll start off with India. We had a few showers through the weekend across Kerala, but they're now easing away. Largely clear skies, as you can see from the satellite image. One or two showers are going to be developing, though, over the next 24 hours or so towards the far north of India and across parts of Nepal, too. Meanwhile, further south, it is dry, settled and sunny. Perhaps one or two rogue showers around Kerala and one or two for Sri Lanka as well. But most places looking dry and temperatures, particularly for the western half of India, a little above what we'd expect. So 34 Celsius there for Mumbai. Similar picture across into Karachi too. Heading further northwest into Central Asia and we've got a few snow flurries across the hills of Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan as well. Things will turn more unsettled here as low pressure moves in from the west. But dry and sunny for much of Pakistan into the northwest of India too and heading down towards Mali you just may catch one or two rogue showers through the day but some sunny spells and it's looking largely dry perhaps just a light passing shower for Sri Lanka too there will be further showers towards the Assam region and across Nepal as well but it is looking dry and sunny for Mumbai, Dakar and Islamabad Heavier showers and thunderstorms in Colombo, though, as we look towards the second half of this coming week. Meanwhile, in Tashkent, any snow flurries should clear away. One or two rain showers over the next few days. Bye-bye. Hello. There's been some fairly severe weather across parts of the South Island of New Zealand through the weekend, courtesy of ex-tropical cyclone USE. Here it is. It brought the heavy rain and the strong winds. That's now clearing away towards the south, so an improvement for the South Island of New Zealand. Further north, we've got some heavy showers across much of Indonesia and an area of low pressure lingering to the north of Japan. So still quite a windy day with that cold northwesterly wind bringing some snow showers right across the hills of Japan and for the Korean Peninsula too. Eastern China seeing a drier spell of weather, a little bit milder in Shanghai, but rather cool still in Hong Kong, 12 degrees here. But the south, a few showers for coastal parts of Vietnam and plenty of heavy downpours across Indonesia. Osaka is still fairly unsettled for the next few days with further showers, but it dries up and eventually warms up towards the end of the week. Now for Australia, there have been plenty of heavy showers and thunderstorms in the east. More of them to come for parts of New South Wales, southern Queensland and up towards the Cape York Peninsula. Heavy showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures in Cairns were around about 40 degrees through the weekend, but back down to about 32 Celsius on Monday. So the heat wave there starting to ease. For New Zealand, an improvement, much drier, warmer weather for the South Island than we saw through the weekend. The North Island, eventually some welcome showers moving in. It's been exceptionally dry in Auckland. One or two showers on the way. Some showers in both Sydney and Melbourne over the next few days. Bye-bye.